Yeah, she's had a good month here living with my other mice, um, but it's time to say goodbye, unfortunately. There are so many mice in my house right now. Welcome back to another vlog. So the aim of this month is to get everyone in this room into the pet room because that is the end goal. I've had the chinchillas in the spare room for like six months now, I think, and that was always supposed to be temporary. Now I've got some of the mice in this room. I just want everyone in the pet room where they're supposed to be. So gonna get that ready, just getting used to not having the rats in there anymore, which has been really strange. So hopefully changing things up a bit is gonna help me get used to the fact they're not in there anymore. I have had so many messages and comments asking how I'm doing since stopping owning rats. And mentally I'm good the first couple of days. I was really sad about it, but I've been preparing myself for this for a while. And to be honest, I'm quite excited moving forward. Besides the actual fear that no one is gonna to want to follow me or watch my videos anymore, which is completely valid if people do feel like that, but getting past that initial fear, I'm quite excited to do different things, show you things, make more chinchilla videos and stuff. I'm just really quite excited for this next chapter. So mentally feeling good about everything. Physically, it's so, nice to be able to breathe better. Saying that, I just had a really bad cold, but it's nice to be able to breathe better in my own house, spend more time in the pet room. I was only able to spend like 10, 15 minutes in there before getting really unwell because of the rats. So yeah, nice to be able to breathe again. But yeah, I'm not sure how much I will be able to get done in this one video, but I'm very much the person when something happens, or something changes. I just wanna keep busy, be productive, change things up a little bit to distract myself. So that's the plan. So things in here are gonna stay similar, but not the same. It's gonna look very similar, but things are gonna be shuffled around, different furniture, things like that. So obviously the biggest difference is the rat cage is not here anymore. And that is gonna be now where the chinchillas are gonna go. And they have got exactly the same type of cage, just obviously not this exact one. So they're gonna go in exactly the same spot because it fits really nicely in that gap. And then I'm gonna move this cat tree, put that somewhere else. And then put the air con there because the way the shutters in this room work is they only open this way to put the pipe out the window. So yeah, chinchillas, air con. And then one thing I am gonna do, which I'm quite excited for, the only place I've had to sit in this room has been on the floor or on that stall over there, which is not comfortable at all. And it just makes spending time in here not very comfortable or enjoyable long-term because I get uncomfortable quite quickly. So I've never wanted to put like a proper fabric chair in this room just because the rat smell really does stick to everything and it would have been really difficult to clean. So I've never had a proper chair in here. I've never had room, to be honest, to have a proper chair. So things are getting reshuffled. I'm getting a nice chair to put in that corner so I can sit in here and spend time with the chinchillas, sit here and read a book and watch the mice. I just want to spend more time in this room. So 
getting a nice chair to go in this corner is gonna make such a difference. And then, so the biggest difference to this room is gonna be the mouse enclosure, which is gonna look pretty similar, but if you've watched my recent videos, I have now got the Bucat State 120 centimeter long enclosure, which is not gonna fit on to this cabinet. It's gonna be way, way too long, way too deep, and just not sit right. So I've come up with a plan I have spent so much time scouring the internet, trying to find a proper cabinet that is exactly the right size. I think most TV cabinets would probably be closest to what I'm looking for, but I just can't find one. So what I'm doing instead, this is an Ikea Calyx unit, which does come in like four squares instead. So getting two of those, turning them like this way and this way to sit that on. It's gonna have a gap in the middle, but yeah, that is the best solution I could come up with. Probably not easy to visualize what I mean, but when I've got everything in, you'll understand what I mean. So that's gonna look a bit different, and to be honest, I think that probably would fit better if I did have that on this wall instead, but I really like having the mice in the background of my videos. People find joy in watching them scurrying around um, when I'm talking and stuff, so that has to stay there. And then, in terms of Orbit and her enclosure and her stuff, right now she's on this. I have had this cabinet for, I don't know, going on like 15 years, I think, and it's just such an awkward size. So that I'm getting rid of because I'm using the storage boxes in that to go into the smaller Calyx units that are gonna go under the mouse enclosure. Long term, I really want to upgrade Orbit into a bigger setup that has like a built-in cabinet and everything, um, but that's still a while off. So, just for now, I think, if I take this cabinet, put this here, put Orbit on that just for now, that's gonna be a pretty perfect fit. So, that shuffled along is gonna give me room to have a nice chair in the corner. So things are getting reshuffled, but I think it's gonna work. It's gonna look pretty similar, um, but just a bit more space efficient, I think. So yeah, that is the plan with the pet room. Don't know how long it's gonna take me to actually execute all of that, but gonna try to get it done in the next like month or so. Unfortunately, I think the time has come to say goodbye to Lily the mouse. She's been living here with me now for about a month or so. And since then, her tumour that she has underneath her leg has tripled in size. Tumours are always a really tricky one because the mouse usually is otherwise okay health-wise. They're eating, drinking, they're happy. But it is going to start to get to a point where it does start to affect their quality of life. It's gonna to start to get too heavy, too uncomfortable. It's gonna to start to pull on the skin. And then it can get to a point if you leave it too long where it does actually break the skin and become incredibly raw and painful for them. So letting them go before it gets to that point is the kindest thing to do. So yeah, we will be going to the vets in half an hour or so and I don't think she'll be coming home with me. Just because it is getting to that point, I think in a week or so, it's going to be way, way too big. And it's already incredibly big already, so yeah. It's not fair being a little mouse, is it? Life's not fair for mice. 
The only way you can really see just how bad and big it is is if you gently lift her up and look at it from underneath. It is a fairly big size and I think in a couple of days or a week or so it is then going to start to affect her ability to use that leg and move around. It must be incredibly uncomfortable and heavy already so yeah it's in her best interest. It's, it's not fair. I hate tumours in mice but it's just one of those things you have to deal with so yeah she's had a good month here living with my other mice having enrichment. She's loved being in all the hammocks um, but it's time to say goodbye unfortunately. I was planning on painting that wall but I don't think it needs doing. I think if I clean it again another time I can get away with not doing it because then I can just get the chinchillas in here quicker. It feels so weird and empty without something there and I think it's a bit echoey also like on the camera and stuff so yeah I really just want to get everything in here like nice and sorted and I was gonna say the chinchillas don't make as much mess on the wall as rats do. They didn't until a couple of weeks ago. Nebula has realised how to pee out of the cage and has decorated the walls so I think if I just paint that she's just going to ruin it again anyway so if I just make it as clean as possible there's no point painting it so yeah that means I can get the chinchillas into here quicker and stop feeling so weird about the rats not being there. I also just wanted to take a moment to give you an update on Tiffin and Toast. They have been with Ashley now for a month, coming up to a month, and they're settling in. They've just started to trust her a bit more. They've never been the most like confident, sociable rats, so she's really putting the work in with them. And she has tried to introduce them to her other male rats twice, and both times Toast has been an issue in those introductions. So he is booked in to be neutered. I just knew something like this would happen. It's always the way, isn't it? But yeah, hopefully once he's neutered and calmed down a bit, he will be in with her other rats. But for now, at least he has his brother Tiffin. Um, but it's just, it's just always the way with rats. So yeah, they're not with her other rats just quite yet, but they will be eventually when he calms down. I think his neuter is next week sometime when I'm filming this. So yeah, hopefully that goes all okay. I have obviously offered to pay for that because they have only just gone to her and they're starting to cause issues. So hopefully after this, they will both be good boys and just enjoy their time living with her without causing too many issues. But yeah, there is your Tiffin and Toast update. Of course, I'm not going to be giving too many more as time goes on. I will leave that to Ashley and her YouTube channel because she's been documenting everything. So yeah, I will link that in the description if you want to carry on finding out how they're doing in their new home. Okay, so there's been a little bit of a time jump since those clips of Lily the mouse passing away and if you've not seen my video before this one, definitely go and watch it because I adopted four new mice and I've left them alone, left them in their own enclosure to settle in for about a week or so but it's now time to combine them and make it a group of nine mice. And I'm fairly sure I've said this either on like a post or in a video at some point expressing how I prefer to have a smaller group of mice and rats back then. Um, obviously now that is not the case. 
Don't get me wrong, I still do prefer having a smaller group for those reasons. I much prefer having a bond with just a few animals and focusing on them. And it does get quite overwhelming sometimes doing a head count rather than just looking and seeing that you've got all of your mice at once. But on the flip side, there are so, so many mice in rescues at the moment. Things can quickly spiral out of control in cases where they've been left to breed and things. And some rescues have like 50, 60 mice in at once. And it's just, there's so many mice in rescues and not really enough homes for them. So yeah, that's the rationale in my head. If I have the space and I can offer a home to more mice, then I don't see the harm in doing it. So putting aside the fact that it does make me really nervous, having a bigger group and having to like count them to make sure they're all there, I am excited to have a bigger group again. So gonna do intros with them now and just hope that it goes okay. I've had about five, six mice at most for a couple of years and now it's gonna be nine. So yeah, let's put them together. If anyone's gonna be a problem, I'm predicting it's gonna be Birch because she was the one when I last put mice in with them, while well, a mouse in with them. She was the one that was chasing and biting, so gonna keep a close eye on her especially. Hi, Griffins. Also going to keep a close eye on Billy because she is super old, she's frail, I think she might have maybe the starts of heart failure because she does breathe a little bit quicker than some of the other mice so yeah just because she's old and her health isn't the greatest she's still perfectly fine to go through intros but yeah just gonna keep a close eye on her as well. Are you being good Birch? Don't be a nasty girl. There are so many mice in my house right now. Nebby, welcome to the pet room. I don't even have any of your treats in here yet. Let me go and get some. Knock, knock. Knock, knock. What's this? So the chinchillas are doing good. I'm still working on building their trust with me, especially with Nimbus because he's just not the most confident chinchilla. So I've just been trying to befriend them and giving them plenty of food out of my hand for the last couple of weeks. But I was having an issue with them. It was more apparent with Nebby because it just showed up more with her fur, but she was looking really, really greasy and I couldn't figure out what the problem was. She was getting plenty of dust baths, her diet's good, her health is fine. So I was speaking to someone that also has chinchillas and she recommended to switch to a different brand of dust. So I'll put a picture on screen of the one that I was using that I thought was fine from my research and then the one that I was recommended instead. Apparently this one is used a lot more by breeders and people that show chinchillas. Obviously they have to look good to do that so this is the one that I've switched to and genuinely I've used this with them only a couple of times and they look like completely different chinchillas. They are so soft again, so fluffy. So yeah, panic over, I just needed to switch to a different brand of dust. I'm still learning, I'm still getting used to having chinchillas. And it's a matter of trial and error with a lot of things. So yeah, this is the brand I'm using and they look so, so much better on it. So I think that is as much as I can get done in one video. I feel pretty happy with having everyone in the same room now. I've just got to obviously move this cabinet, switch Orbit onto a different one, sort the mice out. You can't even see the chaos that is on the floor right now. 
but at least I have a chair to sit in. So yeah, I'm happy with the progress I've made. I will do the rest of it in the next vlog and hopefully have this room looking... Nebby just flung a poo out of the cage. Nebby! Hopefully by the next vlog, I will have this room looking like a room again and just enjoy sitting in here and spending time with the pets that I've got. But yeah, thank you so much for watching this vlog. I feel like it's been a little bit of a chaotic one. And of course, a big, big thank you to all of my channel members. I have made a little bit of a change. I have changed it to the mouse tier and the chin tier now that we just have mice and chinchillas mostly. So a huge thank you to all of my channel members. But I will put the names of the chin tier on screen. That is just so ridiculous to say now that I say it out loud but I'll put the names of the chins here on screen and if you are interested in becoming a channel member and supporting us and seeing the updates I've been trying to add a few new features just to make it worth it for you guys I've also added a specific discount code for my store if you are a channel member so all of that is on the join button below this video but I hope you guys enjoyed watching don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next video Bye.